I'd like to show you how to use algebra for evaluating a potential business opportunity. <clears throat> for example, a pizza business. Let's say <clears throat> we don't have a building, so we want to rent one. May, they may charge about $1,000 a month. Uh, we, we would need to pay people to work for us. We might get by with maybe a thousand dollars a month if someone hasn't finished high school yet. Um, it will cost about four dollars per pizza to make them, the materials to put them together. I think I can charge six dollars per pizza. How can I model this business with a linear equation? So P would be the profit equals six dollars times the number of pizzas we don't know how many we can sell so let's call that x for now minus four dollars for every pizza we make that's how much it costs and we'll use the same x we have to subtract a thousand dollars for rent we have to subtract a thousand dollars for one employee i'm going to hire one person so with that equation, we could answer the question, how many pizzas would we need to sell to break even? Break even means you're at least paying your rent and your worker, even if you haven't made any money yet. And business startups often start that way. You know, so we could set the profit, P, to zero and solve for X. So we, we can combine like terms here. We have 6x minus 4x. So my profit is equal to 2x. And a negative 1,000 and a negative, another negative 1,000 is negative 2,000. I have to pay $2,000 every month. So if I want to say, well, break even would be a profit of 0, then I can just solve that equation. You can add two thousand dollars to each side. So two thousand equals two times the number of pizzas. You could probably see that already. We'll go ahead and divide. Two thousand divided by two is one thousand. You may have been able to see that already that if we're making two dollars per pizza, we would have to sell a thousand pizzas to break even just to pay for the rent and the employee. Well, let's say we want to make $4,000 a month. The next month, maybe we want to make sure we make a profit. So we're going to say, well, I need to make about 4000 every month. How many pizzas would we need to sell per month to make that much? OK. So then we would set our profit equals 4,000. And we said that was 2x minus 2,000 from that previous simplification of the equation. So if we add 2,000 to each side, that says 6,000 equals 2x. 6,000 divided by 2 is 3,000. So I would need to sell 3,000 pizzas in order to make $4,000 a month. That seems like a lot of pizzas. Let's try to figure out how many pizzas a day that is and see if that's possible to make that many. So let's say we're willing to work five days a week and so in a four week month that would be 20 days so let's say we're willing to work 20 days so if we take our three thousand pizzas that we need to make divided by 20 days here's a trick we can cancel that that pair of trailing zeros zeros to the right. So it's really 300 divided by 2. Half of 300 is 150. 
the units are pizzas per day. Now I ask myself, is that possible? Can I make 150 pizzas in a day? Well, maybe. Can one employee and I make this many pizzas? So let's take the, let's say we're willing to work, what, 10 hours a day? So we take the 150 pizzas. divided by pizzas per day <clears throat> divided by 10 hours per day so that would be pizzas per hour trailing zeros cancel that's 15 pizzas per hour well that seems like a lot but there's two of us so that's really only seven or eight pizzas per person. So ten minutes per pizza, I can do that. So it seems possible. I have fr Saturdays and Sundays off, so I could probably recover from a, a good, a good working day like that. <clears throat>